Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, the channel that literally does review anything. And as you can see, what we've got in front of us here is a toilet seat. Now, this probably won't be the most exciting of products to, that we review on the channel, but what I felt was, was that with all kinds of toilet seats, they get used constantly every day. And if you're with a family of two, three, four, you can imagine that the toilet seats only through time get wrecked damaged um, and mainly they come away from the mountains and that's what's happened at this uh, this one at the weed or anything uh, this toilet has literally got broken and I'll show you how so as you can see the actual toilet seat doesn't actually sit right um, and when I open the actual cover it's got that kind of thing going on now I don't know if it's the actual mechanism here as you can see here sorry about the camera shadow but it's come loose away from its actual slow closing mechanism so what I felt was um, seeing as I've actually had to get a different one or a newer one I mean this has only been on a couple of months um, I just thought well give it a review put it on the on the way try anything channel and review it and you know post my thoughts right managed to get that toilet seat off which wasn't the easiest thing and uh, not the most sanitary so luckily I cleaned it all beforehand but um, you can see that the actual um, bolts were very, uh, are very long to accommodate the fixings that they had supplied and these are the actual fixings they'd taken off which had started to rust more or less within the couple of months we had it on there and these have been cleaned anyhow so that you know you can't see anything that's untoward on there um, but from looking on the right hand side the actual um, fixing that had <clears throat> kind of kept the toilet seat in place it seemed to have broken if you compare it to what's on the left so I mean having that seat for the past just couple of months I, I, don't, I don't know I mean I don't know if it's whether the kid you know children had been jumping all over it or just through general use but I gotta say not the best of quality of seats that I've seen um, considering the one that this one had replaced had been on for years so God knows where it happened but it did affect the actual slow closing mechanisms because it was coming away so um, due for a change really and I'm going to show you what I've changed it to right here's the one that I'm going to be replacing it with and reviewing um, this one was purchased from um, Homebase which has been now taken over by a new company um, which have seemed to have dropped in price with everything really um, looking at this one this was the price of about £14 and as you can see it's a white Duraplast toilet seat made by Mandela and um, no doubt rebadged probably for home base but um, it's a soft closed toilet seat which apparently is easy to install it's adjustable and it can contains some preservative to reduce bacteria buildup so that can only be a good thing when you've got a family of four um, but as you can see um, just in a very kind of simple box um, on which I'm going to be unboxing right now uh, and you also get a 12 month warranty with it Right, here we go, uh, using the old trusty scissors. Oops. And cut that off. Uh, do I need to cut it off anywhere else? No, I'll just uh, open it from the top. Let's see what you get. Again, one handed, as always, with the retry any thing. Eventually, I will get a tripod. Let's open it. There you go. And that's what's come in the box. Um, as you can see, you've got the instructions, you've got the fitting kit with plastic bolts, but we'll see how we get on with them. Uh, and the actual toilet seat itself, it's all very white and lovely. And you've got the actual um, seat closing kit fitted in. Uh, on the other one, it was all separate, so hopefully this will work a lot better um, for the usage that it's going to get. As I say, with two kids and a, uh, a lovely lady wife, this is going to... You know, obviously get some use daily, so let's see how we get on. Right, just opened the actual cellophane. Unfortunately, you missed that because uh, I did shoot the video and unfortunately my, my camera had run out of memory, so I didn't realise that at the time, but I'm sorry about that. But um, here's the actual instruction manual. It all seems fairly explanatory and quite well laid out from what I can see, but I'll, I'll be able to tell you whether it was any good once I've fitted it. And there's the back with that warranty. Um, as you can see, it's got a slow closing mechanism there, which all seems all kind of put together already, whereas the previous one just had it all loose and you had to put it together yourself. So it may have been my fault that it didn't work properly, but I don't know, it's uh, just one of them things. And those are all your fixtures and, and those are all your fittings, sorry. Um, 
bit long bolts, all plastic, so we'll see how we get on with that. Right, from following the instructions, it seems pretty self uh, explanatory. Uh, you pop the bolts in like such, so it goes like this and it fits in quite, uh, I wouldn't say snugly, but obviously it's got to have some room for, for manoeuvre. Uh, but yeah, it fits quite nicely. And I've already done one here just to show you how it goes in, but this one here, if I can get this right again, uh, it did work before, pardon the camera angles. There you go, and apparently that's all you do. Um, and then you put these little, oops, pardon, you put these little uh, edges here just to finish it off. And I would imagine it keeps the the, uh, the actual bolts in place and the um, the fixing bolts and the, the washer, as it were, and pop that in, in like so. Oops. Okay, done that right. Let's have a look. There you go. Clips in, and it's ready to install. And from what I can see, you put it in the actual holes in the toilet seat, and you twist that amount, and it's that's it. Job done. Um, I'm hoping it's as easy as that, but uh, I'm going to give it a whirl, and then I'll be able to report to you if it was any good. Well, as you can see, I've installed the actual uh, mechanism part of the toilet and um, managed to line up the bolts with the actual holes which they it is slightly adjustable with the um, the way the washer setup is as I've showed you earlier um, but all I've got to do now I've done already tightened the one side of the toilet seat so now all I've got to do is tighten this bolt up or nut sorry this custom made nut and it goes like that just using the thumb and the camera sorry the thumb and the uh, the other hand for the camera and just tighten it like such. I'm making sure I close it. And slight wobble. There you go. Yeah, and that's fine. Bang, I've got to say, I'm very impressed with this. Um, just minimal rock in the top lid. But again, just to show you one more time. Yes. Gotta say, nice soft closing action and it's easy to fit. Would I recommend it? Well, yes, I would recommend it. It's very, 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 I mean, it was a good price. It was 13 99 and you, you, you know, it was quite a minimal installation time and uh, quite easy to get, uh, <coughs> quite, as long as you follow the instructions, it was quite easy to do. Um, but, you know, time will tell and see how we get on. And if, if you want, I can always put in the comments below if how I got on with it and, um, if you want another review of it in about th two or three months, see if it's had the same issues as the older one, then I will do. But uh, sorry about the, pardon the expression, but sorry about the bog standard in, um, video. But I hope it, uh, you know, alleviates any any um, kind of things you were thinking about when you net purchasing the X-Toilet seat. Again, not the most exciting reviews, but, you know, a review all the same. Um, thank you for watching, uh, we try anything. Um, if you want to see any more reviews, um, just click subscribe. If you like this video, just click like, and I hope you did. And if you don't, well, can't win them all, uh, click on the dislike. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to posting my next video. Thank you. Goodbye.